At Intel, we have talked a lot recently about new transistor designs as we continue to pursue Moore's Law. The last major advancement in transistor structures was moved from planar de transistor designs to FinFETs. This was back in 2011. In early 2021, we announced RibbonFET, the next major shift coming in 2024 with our Intel 20A node. But I know there are some of you who want to hear more about what is beyond. How can Intel get smaller and faster still? Well, one way we can do it is by taking our two basic building blocks, NMOS and PMOS transistors, and stacking them on top of each other instead of side by side in order to make smaller footprint, freeing up space for more transistors. Stacking transistors like this allows us to reduce the footprint of logic devices from 30 to 50 percent. Our components research team has been working on this for many years now. In 2019, we presented a paper that showed industry first ever silicon PMOS planar transistor on top of gallium nitride NMOS transistor. We made the different layers in a sequential order via 3D layer transfer technique. At the same event, we also showed a record performance germanium ribbon FET PMOS device on top of a silicon NMOS FinFET. Again, this was built sequentially via 3D layer transfer. Now, these were both heterogeneous stacks, meaning we mixed a silicon transistor made out of a transistor from another type of semiconductor material. In 2020, we presented first silicon on silicon ribbon fat NMOS on ribbon fat PMOS device, built using a self aligned process. What does self aligned mean? It means we can build both layers in one step rather than building them separately and bonding them together. This helps with alignment issues and reduces manufacturing steps. At this year's IEDM, we compared the two approaches, the self-aligned one and the sequential approach. Spoiler alert, we prefer the self-aligned one. These are just a few examples of future transistor designs and structures that we are researching here at Intel. There are many more to come as we continue to relentlessly pursue Moore's Law.